So hi, Gene. Hi. We are here on the uh, en Entropy and Sons booth. That's right? that correct. And you've got a video synthesizer. It is a video synthesizer. That is accurate. So talk us through the, what, the, what this is and what it can do. Because we can see some really beautiful visuals up here. Yeah, so uh, it's a video synthesizer. They're not super common, uh, but we're trying to change that. Uh, it's a standalone device that takes a, a variety of inputs. Uh, it has an onboard suite of controls as well, uh, but it outputs uh, a stream of kind of kaleidoscopic, fractaline, psychedelic imagery uh, over USB at 1080p. Uh, so it can accept MIDI, uh, it can accept CD, and it has an audio input jack for audio analysis. It has a couple of touch pads right here, which uh, kind of can be played like drum pads to change some of the parameters, and it kind of makes it uh, dance around a little bit. So the algorithm that's running right now is a uh, feedback algorithm where the previous frames of the animation are combined with some external information to create the current frame. So it's a, it's a very self-similar kind of recursive feel, uh, very reminiscent of like classical fractals like uh, the Mandelbrot and Julie set, but with its own kind of character. So talk us through uh, the kind of development process of this. Is it kind of like... Uh, Inspired by anything in particular, pieces uh, of gear, stuff like that? Or, or So the development process has actually been a kind of a long story. It actually started as a software project in my dorm room about 20 years ago. Uh, kind of graduated to a Burning Man project, uh, graduated from there to, we set up at a bunch of house parties and warehouses and uh, small venues in San Francisco. About four years ago, we decided to turn the software into a Eurorack module. We kind of pivoted off of that uh, to a self-contained form factor uh, that kind of focus more on discrete controls like MIDI. Uh, we feel like kind of discrete events and uh, controls uh, were a little more appropriate uh, than just Eurorack CV. It can still take Eurorack CV, but it's a little more difficult. It takes a little more finesse to actually get it to look good. So we're focusing more on MIDI control. Uh, and the self-contained form factor uh, makes it easier for like DJs or there's a lower barrier of entry to the, to the thing. You just kind of plug it in. You don't need any auxiliary hardware. So so it, it does have some CV inputs on the back then. It has a handful of inputs. It has eight CV inputs, standard Eurorack format. It has an audio input uh, that it can use to do beat detection and tempo extraction. And it has a five pin MIDI control. Excellent. So is this kind of ready to go, or where, where are we in the kind of development uh, process? It's getting close. Uh, so the company itself was started about four years ago. Uh, we are just a few months away from actually starting manufacture and delivering them to people's door. It's available for pre-order right now for $1,200. We'll probably increase it a, a little bit uh, when it's actually shipping, uh, but that should happen in the next three or four months. Uh, the hardware is pretty close to done. There's a couple problems with some circuitry. Uh, the, the touch panel doesn't quite uh, sit flush with the, the case, uh, and but the major problems are with software. Uh, there's a couple bugs just to work out, but besides that, it's getting really, really close. Uh, we expect only a few more months. So um, is it easy to put your kind of own imagery in there Absolutely. Well? Uh, so it comes with a library of, right now we have 150 images. We'll probably add it up to 300 to 500, but you can add images with a USB stick. Uh, it also has an Ethernet port, which is for preset sharing and kind of managing your library of images and stuff like that. You can also stream your own video into it. Uh, you can just plug like a webcam in and it'll texture the system with the web camera input. We're also providing an HDMI to USB converter, so anything that outputs HDMI can stream directly into it. So we're trying to make it as easy as possible for people to customize in pretty much any way they want. Brilliant. So, well, yeah, th thank you very much, Gene. That's uh, really, really interesting. Do you want to show you another like couple of pattern or two? Yeah, sure, let's yeah, see some it, more. It has a pretty wide variety. Just uh, hope that it doesn't crash. So it's switching on right now. And it's designed so that it kind of continuously morphs between patterns. We're trying to make it so that it's never discrete or like choppy. It's still a work in progress, but uh, it definitely is, uh, yeah, well on its way to meeting that goal. I mean, I, I've done a tiny bit of uh, video synthesis myself, uh -huh. and I do know that these feedback, the feedback loops you can just stare at for hours and hours, burn there your eye, happily burn your no eyeballs out. No doubt about that. I mean, that's kind of the idea. We want to put it behind like a DJ or like at a party, and people can just like 
get lost in it. Like it's, uh, it's been shown time and time again to, uh, to be able to do that pretty effectively. Brilliant. Well, yeah, Gene, thank you very much again. Yeah, my pleasure.